what about mercury what does mercury signify how to use it in predictions how you can remedy mercury to get better results of it in your horoscope is what we are going to talk in today's video mercury is a significator for speech so when mercury is weak and afflicted there can be speech related defects but these defects generally come only when the like speech is also indicated by the second house so second house is also afflicted by two or more than two malefics and mercury is also afflicted by two or more than two malefics along with mercury is also weak then it will actually give speech defects in other cases it should generally indicate that the speech of the person is either not convincing or he is not able to you know tell that particular thing that he wants to say right that is the first and the foremost thing so effective speech is also seen with respect to mercury and because speech or speaking comes from knowledge mercury indicates knowledge also because of this particular reason what type of education one will get or rather i should say that what type of education one will be interested in what one will like to read more what will be the mental interests of the native should be understood from the influences over mercury right apart from that mercury is also told to be the first prince or the prince now you see what is happening with the prince that prince generally don't have to do much hard work everything is already done by the king the prince just have to inherit it so the same goes with mercury also when you have a powerful and good mercury generally your family members leave a lot of things for you and you just have to inherit it you just have to command the position you just have to be in the place rest everything is everything else is shorted out so when it comes to inheritance people generally pay much attention to 8th house which is not true according to me inheritance comes from the 10th house but apart from that also you should see mercury for inheritance and on those horoscopes only when mercury is powerful one will be able to get good inheritance on the other hand when the mercury is afflicted one may not be able to use this inheritance properly and can lose it because of their ignorance or proper uh, or improper management but getting inheritance or not is indicated by mercury and most importantly one more thing is there with mercury that if your mercury is good if someone's mercury is good then generally these people get a lot many opportunities and they don't have to do much hard work from the scratch 80% of the things are already ready for them and they just have to be themselves right that that is the power that mercury gives you mercury is also known as with that means someone who is with dwan who is intelligent so when mercury is powerful you are conceived as intelligent in fact you are intelligent so generally because intelligence in today's world is also very proportional to the professional success when mercury is powerful one becomes professionally successful also and this is the particular reason that the significator of the 10th house is mercury now primary significator of the 10th house is mercury though some classics may say that jupiter sun and saturn are also the significators of the 10th house but the primary signification is mercury only right knowledge is also indicated by mercury and as mercury becomes powerful in the horoscope it makes the person very knowledgeable also on the other hand when mercury is weak and afflicted one may not easily find what needs to be done and can become hopeless because of which they can lose a lot of time and because of it they can also lose multiple opportunities as well so if your mercury is afflicted or weak you should remedy mercury using the significations that i am going to tell you later in the video apart from that mercury is also called as bodhan bodhan means piercing so this particularly piercing tendency as in you see this particular thing that someone by their speech or by their do, by their dialogue can help you realize something this particular trait is also given by mercury so generally when mercury is weak and afflicted the person is generally told by many others regarding what they what these what they need to do and what they uh, you know what, what they should improve in themselves which can uh, make them feel humiliated also and on the other hand when mercury is powerful then one is having that particular capacity that just by talking or suggesting people they can improve their lives for better uh, on this uh, because of this particular reason only mercury is also considered a significator for being an astrologer because astrologer's work is generally to tell you things using which you can change your life right so this particular in, in a few vedic stories you must have heard that a uh, rishi have said something to a king and his life changed as he thought over that particular idea or a particular dialogue 
this particular tendency is also given by mercury and because of this particular reason only the significator for spirituality is also mercury until and unless mercury is powerful in horoscope successful pursuing of spirituality is not possible or you say self realization does not come so for self realization and successfully pers pursuing uh, per successfully pursuing spirituality also Mercury is very important. I believe this is a hidden aspect that many people do not know about, but yogic siddhis are indicated by Mercury very primarily, right? Apart from that, Mercury is also told as Som or a calm planet. And because of this particular reason, whichever house Mercury is situated in, whatever house is influenced by the seventh aspect of Mercury or whichever planet comes in connection with Mercury, generally very beautiful, very calm, very cool, very soothing results related to those planets are felt. So actually, if your Mercury is expecting any planet or conjoined with any planet, it is actually a blessing. And this does indicate that there will be enjoyments related to the signification of the planet and houses. Apart from that, Mercury is known as Buddh. Buddh means something who is intelligent, right? Who is having the capacity to do the bodhan to make people realize their mistakes, right? So because of this particular reason only, if the Mercury is powerful and one takes on to professions where you have to guide others, then it is very good and this profession gives uh, generally gives satisfaction and contentment to those people who have a strong mercury or mercury connected to the houses of profession which will give success or mercury connected to the houses of wealth which will make the person wealthy also in complexion mercury is green complexion now when using this complexion to decide the complexion of the native or the life partner Generally, people are not of green complexion. So this generally indicates a blackish complexion, right? Green complexion is equal to blackish complexion. So when Mercury is influencing the ascendant, it can give a black complexion to the native. When Mercury is influencing the seventh house, it will give black complexion to the life partner. When Mercury is influencing the fifth house, it will give black complexion to the children. When influencing the fourth house and ninth house, it will give black complexion to mother and father respectively. Apart from that, Mercury is told as a lovely planet right so this is like you know black person but black complexion person but beautiful or handsome or attractive person as such so it does not make one very black as such right as an ugly right the person can have a dark skin tone but the person is very handsome have great sex appeal right is very attractive right so this dark complexion does not actually hinders the uh, beauty of the person right so this is this is some speciality with mercury and because mercury indicates green color if you want to donate something for mercury to uh, remedy mercury or to activate mercury the thing that you donate should be of green color if you paint your home green or any shade of green it will also activate mercury so generally if the mercury is positively influencing your fourth house or fourth lot having green colors on your walls using green curtains bed sheets etc will be more useful for you and if mercury is a powerful planet in kendra's of horoscope if it is a beneficial planet in your horoscope, then wearing more of green color will also be good for you. Apart from that, many times what we see in horoscope that some malefic planet is powerful and uh, we don't want that planet to be powerful in that particular scenario. I don't recommend people doing negative remedies which can weaken the planet because planet have many other living significations also which can get hurt which you will not like. But trying to avoid using the colors and the shades of the planet is one of those safest remedies that you can do uh, for, to you know to make a planet weaken or you know to make sure that the planet does not get activated very often uh, so it does not create a bad result right so if mercury is a lot of bad houses or is making a bad combination then you should completely then you should completely avoid using a green color because as you will use more of green color mercury will be activated and if it is creating problems in your horoscope then it will create problems in your life as well right regarding it is because we are talking of remedying the mercury in Dittis, Mercury indicates Lord Vishnu. So worshipping Lord Vishnu, going to the temples of Lord Vishnu, doing Vishnu Sastranam, doing Homa for Lord Vishnu pleases Mercury much. Right. Worship of God related to planet should be done when the planet is malefic and aggressive, powerful also. So you see, planets are like as compared to people, planets are always powerful. And if they are already powerful in horoscope and then intent on giving bad results, they are giving you bad results only because you have done bad karmas, then what do you do to them? If some person more powerful than you becomes angry on you and you cannot fight them, you should pray to them, right? This prayer will please them, right? So praying to Lord Vishnu 
who controls planet mercury will be very beneficial to remedy mercury to calm down mercury specifically in those cases when mercury is giving negative result but is powerful or any planet when it is giving malefic result and is powerful worship of the deity related to the planet i recommend right mercury also indicates north direction so if you keep northern side of your home clean mercury will be beneficial regarding north there should be less weight in the northern direction and north direction should have more open space so if you maintain that it will also make sure that mercury gives you positive result apart from that if the seventh lord is situated in the rashi of mercury you may meet your life partner in north direction from your place of residence if mercury is positively connected to the 10th house then if your office is in northern direction or if your office is in a building which is having northern main gate then it is more beneficial for you if mercury is connected to wealth houses or if mercury is giving wealth then going to the northern direction will give you vehicles and other gains right so uh, this way the direction should be used and right? if mercury is otherwise powerful in your horoscope also then facing north while uh, sleeping uh, sorry while sleeping you should not face north your head should not be north right so while thinking about something while while doing some transaction while working if you face north and your uh, mercury is good and positive then it will be very very beneficial for you regarding mercury the nature of mercury is dwindling with malefics mercury is a malefic with benefics mercury is a benefic alone mercury is also a benefic now because mercury is a somnia planet mercury is a calm planet mercury does not produce much maleficence as such but when mercury is with malefics he becomes malefic and he gives you bad result though not that aggressively like sun and mars but still it gives bad result now one particular thing is there you say if mercury is with a malefic planet mercury have turned malefic now what will happen this malefic planet who is with mercury will afflict mercury so speech related defects and intelligence related issues will be there person will not be able to figure out what they need to do the way they will say things will you know displease people more as compared to conveying what they are wanting to say and all of these things but because mercury will also turn negative mercury will also influence the planet who is afflict the planet who is afflicting mercury so bad result related to that planet obstructions in the significations related to that planet will also be there apart from that mercury will be influencing in seventh house from its placement of course the planet is mercury will also be influencing in seventh house from its placement right so on the seventh house from mercury and the planet who is afflicting mercury making mercury a malefic there will be a double affliction so though mercury himself is a somn cool calm controlled planet but because he will become malefic with a malefic only and mercury only influences seventh house mercury have no special influence as such so the bad influence of mercury will generally be mixed with another bad influence also which will make the house go under dual bad influence which will create strong problems which will create great problems obstructions hurdles related to the house or the planet which is in seventh to mercury and the malefic who is making mercury malefic right so keeping this particular aspect in mind the maleficence of mercury is quite problematic right alone mercury or mercury with a benefic is a good planet in which particular scenario mercury will support the planet who is with mercury who is making mercury beneficial and mercury will be supported by that beneficial planet who is making mercury beneficial also so this is a dual side benefit right this is a speciality with mercury that if it is giving you good result it will give you two times good result if it is giving you bad result it will give you two time bad results that is the particular reason mercury is told mercury is told as a significator for duality or plurality and owing to this particular reason only it is generally told that when mercury is connected to the 7th house it may give you more than one marriage if mercury is connected to 4th house it can give you multiple properties and multiple vehicles but one thing i will want to say that if mercury is connected to fourth house though it may give you multiple properties and multiple vehicles but generally such people do not live in their homes and despite having multiple properties they live in rented properties only owing to this particular reason as well when mercury is connected to fifth house fifth lord then it generally indicate twin children when it is in when it is influencing the third house third lord it indicates twin sibling or more than one sibling to the native right so this particular thing is to be understood that mercury whenever afflict whenever afflicted or whenever he is turned malefic he will be dually afflicting the house and planet and when he is benefic he will be giving twice the benefit to the house or the planet whatever the case may be and because mercury will always produce two times the result mercury is taken as a planet of plurality or multiplicity which should be used according to intelligence now regarding gender mercury is an unuch planet now see unuch is not that common 
right? If you know about LGBTQ a bit, lesbian and gay is like more or less a mental tendency. Queer and all of that, I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing it. Uh, queer or uh, whatever, right? That is seen some other way, right? Mercury will not indicate it. The point of saying that Mercury is a eunuch is as such that, say, the prime uses is to find whether your sibling is female sibling or male sibling or your uh, children is male children or female children. In this particular scenario of siblings and children, generally Mercury is a neutral planet. So if he is with a male planet, he will become a male, behave like a male. If he is with a female planet, he will behave like a female. If he is in a male Rashi, he will behave like a male planet. If he is in a female Rashi, he will behave like a female planet. That's the basic point. Now, additionally, from my research, you know, the, re the experience thing with that I am telling you is like, I, like in the male horoscope, you want to get married to a female. So if the seventh house is having influence of female planets or beneficial planets, only then your life partner will have true female tendencies. Otherwise, she may not have female tendencies, which will dissatisfy you. In female horoscope, she will get married to a male. So if seventh house is not influenced by a male planet, then in that particular scenario, husband may not have male tendencies, which can be dissatisfactory. Of course, if the person is interested in having same gender relationship, then not having the influence of the opposite gender planet serves as a very good, you know, serves as a very good combination. Right. So keeping this particular thing in mind now, because Mercury is neutral, right? Mercury generally indicates that life partner is having both the traits in equality, right? So in male and female horoscopes, in both the horoscopes, if Mercury is influencing the seventh house, it indicates that life partner can be a mix of male and female tendencies, right? So this generally gives a very good life partner as such, right? Because see what happens with male. If the seventh house is only influenced by male planets, then the male tendencies will be there. Life partner will be dominating and life partner you know, life partner will have a robust voice and life partner will want to take responsibilities and all of that. But male is also cruel. So life partner will be cruel, cruel also. If seventh house is influenced by female planets, then the, then the life partner can be very homely, will not want to take responsibilities and all of that. So being very homely, having very calm voice, soft skin is good. But, you know, like someone who does not like responsibilities is not something that you will want. So keeping this particular thing in mind, because Mercury is an eunuch and it does indicate balance of both qualities, it generally give life partner like, you know, the life partner is very good into singing, which gives them a very good voice. That is a female tendency. But at the same point of time, life partner takes responsibility and in sexual satisfaction and, and in other matters, he is a complete male, right? So this generally makes a better setup as compared to what any other planet can make. So that is very good. But one particular thing is there that if only Mercury is influencing the seventh house or Mercury is influencing the seventh house with Saturn, who is also an Unuch planet, in that particular scenario, the Unuch tendency will be very high because of this particular reason, sexual dissatisfaction, dissatisfaction in relationship will be the result, which will be problematic, right? That's one point. Secondarily of telling Unuch, right? This thing I have already explained before as uh, like this time, just a little, uh, like just before this point, but by saying that Mercury is an eunuch, it also indicates that Mercury is neutral to influences. And if Mercury is with a malefic planet, he will become a malefic. If Mercury is with a benefic planet, so he will become a benefic, right? So being eunuch also indicates this particular point that independent result of Mercury is not there and Mercury generally starts behaving like the planet he is with, conjoined with or expected by. Now the nature of the Mercury, whether it will be benefic or malefic, it depends on the planet who is with Mercury and is not dependent on the planet who is expecting Mercury. But because Mercury is an eunuch and neutral, in giving results, Mercury will also take the result of the planet that's, that is influencing him. And in the Shantar, the Shah will also produce the result of those planets who is influencing Mercury. And also of the planet whom the Mercury is influencing, right? So in this particular, with this particular point of view, Mercury indicates more results as compared to any other planet. That is the particular reason in my Gemini course, I always think, I always teach that 
वर्गो एंड जेमिनी दशाज एन अंतर दशाज आर जनरली द मोस्ट इवेंट कॉजिंग दशाज एन अंतर दशाज सेम विल बी द केस इन नॉर्मल एस्ट्रोलॉजी ऑल्सो दैट एक्टिवेशन ऑफ द राशि ऑक्युपाइड बाय मर्करी एक्टिवेशन ऑफ द राशि ऑफ मर्करी जेमिनी वर्गो और एक्टिवेशन ऑफ मर्करी हिमसेल्फ इन दशा अंतर दशा विल जनरली इंडिकेट अ टाइम विच विल हैव मैक्सिमम इवेंट्स हैपनिंग इन द लाइफ ऑफ द नेटिव दिस इज अनादर इम्प्लीकेशन ऑफ मर्करी बींग यूनिच so you see every principle that i am explaining to you have multitude of application and my purpose is to teach you and give you some hints regarding how it can be used and remaining is your task that you make note use your intelligence and if i am telling you 10 things call out 100 things out of it that can be very easily done i teach in this manner only my students do it you can also do it right apart from that mercury indicates earth element and earth element indicates stability we all are on earth we walk on earth we get multiple resources from earth right so when mercury is powerful one is very resourceful one have multiple resources this we already know because mercury is a prince it indicates that you just have to take the pedestal everything is ready for you right this is also indicated by this particular point that mercury indicates earth element and when mercury is powerful one is very resourceful and because earth is very stable also it indicates that when mercury is powerful one have a stable life lots of ups and downs are not there and generally good things are stable good things are something which cannot be exhausted right so person have huge money and right person inherits huge money and he also inherits business which you know can continue to give them money for a lifetime and they don't have to work much hard of course if mercury is afflicted if mercury is weak then in that particular scenario intelligence will go wrong and when intelligence goes wrong one can destroy even the greatest blessings but not that case generally when mercury is good then in that particular scenario person is very blessed and the life is more or less very stable so unexpected unfortunate events such, such as disease passing of someone cheating etc generally don't happen when mercury is good and a stable progress in life is there i generally say that if mercury is powerful in horoscope then whatever you know financial status professional status or social status one achieves one never loses that either they remain on the same level or they increase only right so this is a very good thing of powerful mercury or good mercury mercury is also shudra by caste shudra means the service class right so when mercury is afflicted in transit by malefics when the rashi of mercury is afflicted in transit by malefics then generally people of service class come into problem right apart from that when mercury is powerful in horoscope when mercury is connected to fine wealth houses or profession houses it does indicate then one will do well if they work under others right so mercury does indicate a very good employee and when mercury is powerful it indicates that one can be a great employee and in serving people they can earn huge amount of money so they should aim to work in a department where they directly serve people or when they directly serve masses that is very good apart from that mercury is also a rajasic planet rajas means desire that means to say whichever house mercury is situated in whichever house mercury is influencing whichever planet mercury is connected with related to the house and planet one have insatiable desire and once desire or lust or greed related to those houses are generally not very easily fulfilled one wants more and more and more related to the houses and planets who are signified by mercury that is one thing apart from that because mercury indicates rajas mercury is an enjoyment focused planet and the result of the planets are also felt in their dasha antar dasha so whenever the result of Mer whenever the activation of mercury happens because of dasha antar dasha one becomes very rajasic one becomes very aspirational one becomes very desirous also that's one point and added to that because mercury indicates rajas rajas is desire a powerful mercury will also indicate that persons a powerful mercury a strong mercury will also indicate that the desire of the person can be easily fulfilled because rajas karak is powerful on the other hand when the rajas karak mercury is weak rajas karak is venus also rajas karak mercury is weak it will indicate that to fulfill the wishes and desires of the person it will take a lot of hard work and effort from the person side fulfilling the wishes and desires are not very easy right so your wishes and desires are very easily fulfilled or fulfill at all only when mercury is powerful otherwise not why because mercury is rajasakarak right that you have to understand now if mercury is the most powerful planet in horoscope as per shadbal or is the most powerful planet in kendras then what type of nature behavior character mercury will give you if mercury is connected to 7th house what type of life partner it will give you if mercury is connected to 5th house what type of child it will give you what is the description of mercury the so first of all mercury is having a tremulous voice tremulous voice is intense with feelings 
right so if someone you know like someone is cracking a joke and before completing the joke they start laughing themselves and after laughing for some time they complete the joke such kind of you know emotional or very expressive voice is given by mercury which is choked by intense feelings mercury is always humorous and always joking he is windy and phlegmatic because of phlegmatic he can be obese also and because of windy complaints there can be nervous related issues as well this is something that the mercury person should take care of apart from that the eyes of mercury is reddish right that does indicate that eyes can be dry or the person can be easily irritated mercury person is very easily irritated so this is something that as uh, you know that should be controlled if mercury is indicating your nature or this is something that you should be careful about if the mercury is indicating nature of other relatives such as spouse or children in horoscope right apart from that despite the fact that mercury can get easily irritated mercury is very sweet spoken right mercury generally have a very strong and pure and smooth skin right mercury is also very clear in speech whatever they want to convey they convey it very well this attractive speech where the person talks in a manner that long after you know even long after meeting them you remember what they have said because it have impacted your mind a lot is indicated by mercury right mercury is very pure in his heart as such this only happens with good mercury bad mercury is very impure in heart right good mercury is very pure in heart he mercury generally indicates that person always remains delighted mercury is not very beautiful though he is attracted attractive but he is not very beautiful he is having moderate beauty only but mercury indicates person being very skillful person having multiple talents apart from that physical strength physical vigor vitality is also given by mercury though it is a new age planet so you know producing child or good performance in uh, sexual encounters can be problematic but apart from that physical power of you know lifting weight etc this mercury generally gives right mercury dresses in a way which is apt for the circumstances apt for the situation and generally the dressing sense of mercury fashion sense of mercury is liked by people right so if you have a strong mercury your fashion sense will be liked by people because of this particular reason you can become a fashion influencer also if you want apart from that if you are having a weak and afflicted mercury then wearing right clothes which are suitable uh, uh, suitable for the occasion and following latest fashion trends will also help you right so whatever signification i am telling you using your mind you can use it in multiple ways which will be very beneficial for you right so this uh, you know scope of intelligence scope of application of intelligence in in what i am saying is always there and should always be done right apart from that mercury have a very special type of articulation right which people remember long after meeting them also mercury generally is thin he have a tendency of being obese but he does not remain obese for long as such people who are desirous and lusty like mercury himself he likes to spend time with them he likes their company owing to this particular reason when one rajasik person who is very lusty desirous greedy uh, lives in the company of other rajasik people who are also lusty desirous and greedy this is a <laughs> you know this is sitting on a time bomb because like you know then a lot of rajas can lead to tamas for example say some rajasik person who likes to drink alcohol goes in the company of you know others who are also rajasik and they also want to enjoy life by drinking alcohol then they are very you know susceptible to being into chronic alcoholism going to this particular reason i generally say that if you have a mercury who is quite who is you know little little afflicted by other malefics right not much afflicted because if it is much afflicted it will create greater issues only little affliction by malefics does indicate a tendency of going into a bad company and losing many things so when you have a weak and afflicted mercury you should always keep and check over your friends and make sure to be friends with uh, satvik people only rather than being uh, friends with fellow rajasik people or tamasik people because a lot of rajas can create tamas rajas plus tamas will generally create crime right but rajas is having a tendency that it can uplift also when it mixes with sattva and prominent mercury people should have satvik friends and if they have satvik friends then there will be improvement in their life and only then they will save themselves from addictions and over indulgence into enjoyment and lust greed desire that only if they uh, you know have company with satvik people this can happen and if they don't have a uh, company of satvik friends 
then a disaster is sure to come right so this is also something that have to be understood apart from that mercury generally delights in damaging things damaging the reputation of people mocking people and all of these things this is a negative trait of mercury and this is something that should not be done if you want to keep your mercury uh, you know if you want to have good results from your mercury as such mercury is also very energetic and mercury generally indicates people who are always ready to do things you tell them something and they will be ever ready to do it right mercury is also very when the mercury is good and afflicted it one make it makes one like a sage like a rishi so that is also a very good tendency and i already explained you how mercury is connected to spirituality so a very good and powerful mercury generally indicates very profound spirituality and in all the horoscopes of spiritual people you will see a very distinct very special type of mercury as such the body of mercury is full of veins and generally these green veins are visible through the skin also right so this is another trait given by mercury mercury generally have big eyes the limbs of the body parts are even that that's of equal shape and size no body part is very prominent or you know or very short or very large as such right mercury is also highly learned mercury is very ambitious generally mercury is very truthful mercury gives great status and respect to the native right but mercury wants to do things very quickly and mercury generally lacks stability so mercury people dominant mercury people for the want of change can risk multiple things in their life my advice to prominent mercury people is try to have some stability and patience in life otherwise mercury can land you into multiple problems right apart from that mercury have a very attractive physique as such mercury generally uses words and uh, makes uh, sentences with, which have uh, many profound meanings right and mercury is also greatly fond of jokes so people having prominent mercury it is their trait nature behavior character and if mercury is connected to different houses for example say if mercury is connected to 7th house then this is going to be nature behavior trait of the life partner it should be it should be understood this way apart from this in body parts mercury indicates skin so when mercury is connected to 6th 8th and 12th house when mercury is afflicted in horoscope then it will generally indicate skin disease skin disease an important thing with skin disease is that they can never be completely cured right so this is something where only astrology can help people like like you know from astrology you can say with an afflicted mercury beforehand to people that you are susceptible to have skin diseases so take care of your skin because once it happens it cannot be completely cured as such right and affliction of mercury or mercury connected to disease houses 6th house 6th lord 8th house 8th lord will generally indicate skin related diseases right this is something that one should be careful about apart from that mercury also indicates amusement courts playground park so amusement court playground park if you help maintain them renovate them if you keep them clean it will be a good remedy for mercury if you want to do some remedy for mercury donations etc if you do it near amusement parks etc it will be good apart from that if you want to act, you say if mercury is connected to health or profession houses then thinking on how to earn money or which job to apply for and thinking things related to your profession while sitting in an amusement park or playground etc will be very beneficial for you right so that should be done in clothes mercury generally indicates wet clothes which are just washed so if you want to activate mercury then you should generally wear clothes which are washed every day right and you should not wear that type of cloth that you know the cloth is washed and it is kept in the cupboard and you take it out and you wear it no washing your clothes daily and wearing it the next day right like having only two set of two to three sets of clothes right like you wear the cloth today tomorrow you take a bath wash this cloth wear a cloth now this cloth that you have washed tomorrow wear it day after tomorrow this particular thing is indicated by mercury and generally when one dresses up like this when one wears clothes which are recently washed it activates mercury it strengthens mercury so if you want to activate or strengthen your mercury this remedy should be done now as i told before if mercury is a malefic and negative planet in your horoscope then this should not be done for example you say if mercury is situated in 12th house or influencing the 12th house then the work of mercury in your horoscope is to activate expenditure so now if you wear clothes which are just washed then it will activate mercury which will give you his expenditure also 
in this particular scenario, one should have many clothes. You say five, six clothes are there. You wash, you wash them at once, keep them in a cupboard. They start wearing them after two, three days only. In this scenario, you are not wearing recently washed clothes. So it is not activating your mercury and because mercury is bad in your horoscope, no activation of mercury will give you good result only. That's the basic point. As we can wear, as we wear gemstone for the planets, we can wear clothes of planets and metal of planets for their remedy as well. Regarding metals, white, copper, lead, pearl ore is indicated by mercury or basically any type of alloy is indicated by mercury. Alloy is a mixture of two or more than two metals. Right? Generally, there is something known as Pavitri, where you take gold, silver and copper in the ratio of two to one and mix them to make a bracelet and you wear it. This is called Pavitri and this is one of the best remedies for mercury. So any problem related to mercury is there, this you should try wearing. And in 80% of the cases, when this Pavitri is activated by the right mantras and worn in the right muhurt. Regarding right muhurt, I have recently wrote an article for my website. You probably know my website. In my website, I have blog section. In the blog section, I have written very good articles according to those who have read it. Right, of course, I, I don't say that my articles are good. People who have read it, they say. Right, so I have written an article on how you should wear a gemstone, the process of wearing a gemstone and installing a yantra and other remedies related to planet and how it can be effectively used. Right, so you can go and wear that article, read that article. And if you wear gemstones and install yantras according to the procedure mentioned in that particular article, then it will be more useful and it will be more beneficial, quick result giving for you. Right, so that you should do. What I was saying that if you take Pavitri, right, which is for Mercury, and if you activate the Pavitri properly, then it can relieve you from multiple problems related to Mercury, right? So at the place of gemstones, the metals and clothes related to planet can also be worn. And this Pavitri, which is for Mercury, is actually a very miraculous remedy, which can be done for any planet as such. But specifically for mercury, this is very miraculous and wearing Pavitri will greatly improve your mercury. That also you should. In seasons, mercury generally indicate autumn season that is between September to November. So you say if you have to time events, you have to take the significator and the house lord, which signifies the event in the D3 chart and as per the Rashi of the planet occupied by the significator of event in D3 chart, the, the month of the event should be predicted. So if the seventh lord or Venus is situated in the Rashi of Mercury in D3 chart, that is Gemini or Virgo, it is highly probable that person will get married in the month of September to November. Right? This September to November should be counted from 15th, right? So 15th September to 15th November will be the month ruled by Mercury. If the 10th lord is going into the D3 of Mercury or Mercury is going in his own D3 itself, right? That is Gemini and Virgo then the most prominent jobs one will get between 15th of September to 15th of November only. In timing of the events, it have to be used. Apart from that, in timing, Mercury also indicates a season. A season is of six months. So generally, when you cast a Prashna, and if the answer of Prashna, positive or negative, is indicated by Mercury, then it will generally happen in six months, right? This, this way, it is used. In taste, Mercury generally indicate mixed taste. So in a Prashna related to what type of food one have eaten or what type of food one will eat, if Mercury is connected to second house or fifth house or ascendant, it will indicate that one will eat food of mixed taste. When Mercury is good and powerful in your horoscope, if you eat food of mixed taste, right, you say there are some people who eat sweets with their food, right, so generally complete food is salty, sweet will be sweet, right, it will activate your Mercury. On the other hand, when Mercury is a negative planet connected to 6th, 8th, 12th house and lords in your horoscope, then eating foods with mixed taste is not good. What you call chatpata, some sweet, some sour. Specifically, these type of foods are indicated by Mercury. If Mercury is a negative in your horoscope, don't eat these type of foods. If Mercury is positive in your horoscope, try to eat more of these type of foods, right? This will be. Apart from that, Mercury is very friendly with Sun, uh, Saturn, uh, yeah, sorry, Mercury is very friendly with Sun, Venus. Normally friendly with Moon, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn also. Right? Quite inimical to Moon. 
so when a planet is influenced by his friendly planets realizing the significations of planets is easy on the other hand when the planet is connected to inimical planets then realizing the signification of planets will be difficult so as i told you mercury indicates intelligence and knowledge and uh, intelligence and knowledge learnings and all of these things if mercury is connected with his friends great friends if mercury is connected to great friends sun and venus then in that particular specifically venus if mercury is connected to venus getting knowledge is quite easy person is very intelligent on the other hand if mercury is connected to his bitterest and bitter most bitter enemy that is moon then there can be you know problems in completion of education drop in between change of mind and other obstacles will be there right so while deciding the result of the planet you should see whether the planet is connected to friendly planets then achieving the things related to the planet will be easy if not then there will be obstructions and obstacles in realizing the significations indicated by the planet in horoscope right that that's one thing apart from that in the first house of the horoscope mercury is generally digbali getting directional strength and whichever planet is getting directional strength when you follow the significations of that planet that i am telling you in this video for mercury you become very successful so if mercury is in the ascendant he is digbali in that scenario doing profession related to mercury following trades related to mercury will make you more fortunate and more successful right in the house seventh from the house of digbal planets lose digbal so mercury will lose digbal in the seventh house in that particular scenario following the trades and significations of mercury will be problematic in that scenario you should not follow the trades etc of mercury apart from that when mercury is retrograde when mercury is with moon then also mercury should be considered powerful now you see one thing is there when mercury is with moon i already told you that moon is bitter enemy for mercury in that too. and if mercury is connected to moon it will create problem in realizing the significations or success and significations related to moon which here will be problem in completion of education but if mercury is affected by moon then there will be problems in completion of education one can be a dropout and all of these things when mercury is with moon then also this result will be there but tara grahas mars mercury jupiter venus saturn when they are with moon they are also chishtavali in that particular scenario they become powerful also and if mercury is connected to moon then of course it gives problem in completion of education and all of these things but it makes the person very intelligent also so this particular result will be there as well regarding retrogression generally retrograde planets can give you useless wanderings and it does indicate that things will not be successful in the one go multiple attempts will be needed so if mercury is retrograde in his dasha antardasha he will indicate useless wanderings and uh, multiple attempts to succeed at even little things and apart from that whichever house whatever thing is signified by mercury in uh, to get success in those things one will have to do multiple try if mercury is retrograde which will be more so if the dasha of the mercury is also activated dasha antar dasha of mercury is also activated right so accordingly the result have to be understood apart from that in vedas mercury indicates atharva veda now atharva ved is a ved which generally talks about people think black magic and talismans and all of these things so when mercury is powerful basically what is later understood as siddhis prakritya vichar and all of that so when mercury is weak and afflicted one is quite suspectable that black magic can be done on them and harm through black magic can be done to these people so these people should do remedies related to mercury to safeguard themselves and make their lagna lord strong because when lagna lord is strong no one can do any harm to you as such so they should focus on making their mercury positive and lagna lord strong on the other hand when mercury is on the other hand when mercury is powerful then getting siddhis and getting success in yantra mantra tantra and other tantric and vedic practices is quite easy that this is how it should be understood traditional uses is that if someone is going to get yagya pavitam in the in any branch of knowledge related to rigved and you are sorry related to atharva ved and you are about to find a muhurta for them then because mercury indicates atharva ved only decide a muhurta when mercury is powerful otherwise it can be problematic right apart from that in world's mercury indicates health so if the so if sun or moon are going in the d3 of mercury dreshkan of mercury gemini virgo it indicates that the person have came from hell 
Now hell is not a good place. It will generally indicate negative tendencies of the native, right? It will indicate that the native can be very lusty, very greedy, very short tempered and all of that. Repercussions of it will also be felt in the nature behavior character of the native. So basically the past life samskaras influence your mind and that influences your decision also. Someone coming from hell means the person is already having very base tendencies of you know, hurting others, harming others, misusing others, etc. Which is also reflected in the tendency of the native. Right? So if the sun or moon is going into the Dreshkan of Mercury, this is the trait. And if this is the trait, that trait should be avoided as such. The first point. Secondarily, most powerful planet between the uh, in the 7th, 8th, 6th, uh, 7th and 8th house, the Dreshkan as per the most powerful planet in these houses, where the person will go after death is decided. And if the most powerful planet in 6, 7, 8th house, house is going into the Dreshkan of Mercury, it indicates that one can go to hell after death. So this person should be over cautious of the type of karma that they are doing, the type of behavior that they are having with others because they are generally inclined to have a bad nature behavior and a treatment with others, which is indicating that they may go to hell. So they should be more cautious about the karma that they are committing and try to save themselves. This is how it should be understood. If Mercury is between 10 degree to 20 degree in any Rashi, he should be considered powerful. And as Mercury will be powerful, the traits and uh, significations related to Mercury will also be strong. For example, I told you Mercury is a prince. So if Mercury is powerful, this princely tendency will be powerful. And generally, person will get things with little to no hard work or effort as such. In odd Rashi, that is in Aries, Gemini, Leo, Libra, Sagittarius and Aquarius, Mercury is powerful, right? So if Mercury is in these Rashis and that too specifically between 10 degree to 20 degree, then Mercury will be super powerful and significations related to Mercury will be easily realized. If in other Rashis and not in the degrees between 10 to 20, then Mercury is generally weak. In that scenario, realizing the significations related to Mercury and having traits related to Mercury in the nature behavior character of the native will be difficult. One thing you should understand that in Virgo, Mercury is very good exalted up to 15 degrees and Multricone from 15 to 20 degrees. So Virgo is an exception to this because uh, Mercury in Virgo, because he is getting exalted and Multricone, both conditions in Virgo itself, Mercury is very positive in Virgo, right? When moon is of bright fortnight at that point of time, also Mercury is powerful. Now multiple things related to the power of Mercury, I am telling, right? And as many power Mercury can get, it will become as much power, right? So if Mercury is having maximum sources of strength, then Mercury is one of the most powerful and very prominent planet in horoscope. In that particular scenario, nature behavior character traits related to Mercury that I'm telling you, which will be very prominent in the nature behavior character of the native. And because Mercury is powerful in the Dasha Antar Dasha of Mercury, native will also become powerful and prominent, will enjoy Raj Yoga and all other good things, will, good results will also happen, right? That's the thing. If you want to do something related to Mercury, donation related to Mercury, wearing gemstone related to Mercury, then you should do it in the first part of the day. Generally, Mercury indicates the time of evening, 48 minutes before and after sunrise and 48 minutes before and after sunset. So if you want to wear gemstones related to Mercury, do Homa, fire sacrifice, donations, etc. related to Mercury, you should do at this point of time. Apart from that, if Mercury is indicating any event, then in gen then it generally happens in the first part of the day, you say between 6 to 11, 12. Between 6 to 10 should be taken as a first part of the day. So if Mercury is indicating any event, marriage, getting a job, etc., then generally the call of confirmation you will get between 7 sunrise to 10 a.m. only, right? Because Mercury is powerful in the first part of the day. That's the first thing. Another thing is Mercury being a head rising planet. If Mercury is indicating any result, it will indicate that that result comes quite early in life. So you say if Mercury becomes the seventh Lord, it will indicate early marriage. If Mercury is the fifth Lord, it will indicate early childbirth. Mercury is a new notch. So the affliction to the fifth Lord, which should delay the child will be afflicting Mercury more because Mercury is already new notch and you should not be able to produce a child as such. Now, in this particular scenario, afflictions will be more problematic to Mercury as a fifth lord as compared to any other planet. So if afflicted, then it will delay the result. But in a normal condition, when Mercury is not afflicted, 
then any result that is indicated by mercury any yoga that is being made by mercury or any houses that is lauded by mercury the result of that yoga and things related to those house will be signified very quickly because mercury is then head rise apart from that mercury also indicates birds so feeding birds freeing birds is good for good remedy for mercury point 1 now birds generally fly so if mercury is good flying is good for the person so becoming a pilot air hostess is good investing into flights if you can that is good for mercury apart from that if someone wants to settle to foreign lands and now generally travel to foreign lands is done through aeroplanes only so a powerful mercury does indicate that settlement in foreign land finding opportunities in foreign land is quite easy right owing to this particular reason a positive mercury connected to 7th house will also indicate a foreigner life partner as well so all the things related to birds in modern parallels modern pretext should also be understood from mercury and as i have told you right now three things that investments in aeroplanes will be good working as a pilot or air hostess will be good if mercury is connected to houses related to income right then investment in aeroplane is good working as a pilot air hostess is good if mercury is connected to tra travel right birds travel a lot so travel is good right travel happens very often if mercury is connected to profession factors then one earns as a pilot or air hostess or one earns by traveling and all of that if mercury is connected to 7th house then life partner may have to travel a lot or life partner may have to come to you after traveling which means to say either life partner can be a non resident like life partner can be belonging to your own country but can be non resident or can be a foreigner altogether right for the life partner to be foreigner altogether the influence of jupiter is also needed right so accordingly the signification should be modified and applied right mercury also indicate villages so going in villages living in villages activates mercury if any remedy related to mercury is to be done if that is done in villages then it is very good right if you take the places for example the rashi occupied by the seventh lord indicates the place where you will meet your life partner so if the seventh lord is going into the rashi of mercury it will generally indicate that one will meet their life partner in a village type of area the rashi of the 10th lord will indicate the type of place where the office is situated in so if the 10th lord is situated in the rashi of mercury it will indicate that office is in a village type of area etc right so in the same manner it should be understood apart from that mercury is jeevakarak so when mercury is afflicted in transit when the rashis of mercury is afflicted in transit it generally indicates losses to people harms to people criminal activities etc being on a rise so as per the current transit of mercury also proper precaution if one takes then they can save themselves from accidents etc also accidents and other things as well right so that is one thing that have to be understood apart from that mercury also indicates a boy around 20 years of age so if there is something related to mercury that you needs to do you say homa or donation etc if you take help of a boy young boy or if you donate to them then it will be very beneficial for you apart from that if mercury is indicating something generally that happens because of boys that right? or people around 20 years of age so you say if mercury is positively connected with the fourth house then maybe the person who tells you about your home who tells you about property who helps you getting a property is a young boy around 20 years of age or they have some role in it right the gemstone for mercury is emerald wearing of emerald worshiping of emerald donation of emerald either thing can be done people generally think that gemstone should be worn only no multiple other uses are also there so emerald is connected to mercury wearing emerald donating emerald worshiping emerald will be a very good remedy for mercury that you can do in your day to day life as well to strengthen your mercury apart from that mercury have a sideways aspect so when mercury is connected to second house of aspect i told in the previous video no that to think over whatever i am saying up to these three videos sun moon mars i have explained aspect in one way the type of aspect up or down etc now i am explaining it in another way certainly what i have told before is also applicable you have not seen the previous videos how i am using aspects so watch them mercury have a sideways aspect what does it mean 
mercury is connected to second house of eyesight then or ascendant or if mercury is the most powerful planet basically if mercury is forming the physical characteristics of the native then in that particular scenario because mercury is looking sideways person will not have tendency to look in look to the uh, you know like look in the eyes of the person they are talking to but they will generally look here and there right which also implies that person is not focused on what he is doing rather either he is distracted or looking for things to distract him because he is not interested in what is happening or what he is doing so lack of interest lack of focus is indicated by mercury specifically when it is afflicted and it will also indicate that you see that there are some people who will come to you to meet you on the pretext of meeting you but their more focus will be on your home what you have in your home and in your family members generally such people have criminal tendencies also right this theft or you know and other bad things are committed by these people only right so that is indicated by afflicted mercury right a friend who tries to have affair or relationship with a family member of his friend such bad friends are indicated by mercury why because mercury comes to your home and in your home suppose he is sitting in the living room in sofa and you are talking to them and they are not talk, talk they are talking they are also talking to you but they are not looking at you they are looking at the paintings in your room thinking oh my god you have a beautiful home so let's steal something or why he is having such a beautiful home why he is so prosperous let's do something to you know stop their prosperity and things like that right so when mercury indicates such tendencies and those who are having an afflicted mercury can have such tendencies so while making friends this is something that you should keep in mind because afflicted mercury people are least interested in the work that they are you know showing that they are doing but generally they are interested in other things also owing to this particular reason only an afflicted mercury makes one and very inefficient worker because they are not focused in their work they are focused in other things right so based on this thing the nature aspect of mercury should be understood apart from that mercury generally indicate a mix of diverse qualities and whenever you see someone having you know like contradictory qualities someone who is physically very powerful loves, loves going to gym but also having a very sweet voice right like a bodybuilder singer so this is a contradictory thing but not very rare such contradictory things are indicated by mercury and generally when mercury is powerful such traits are indicated in the nature behavior character of the person apart from that the learnings of the native the level of learnings of the native the areas of native's interest is seen with mercury about relatives one should judge from mercury the level of discrimination and the exercise of discrimination is to be seen from mercury maternal uncles and friends are signified by mercury speech is signified by mercury actions are indicated by mercury signified by mercury learning eloquence is indicated by mercury acting is indicated by mercury skills in fine arts is indicated by mercury getting praised by young uh, learned people is indicated by mercury having friendship of young people is indicated by mercury maternal uncle is indicated by mercury dexterity in speech is indicated by mercury cleverness in religious duties meditations and religious activities like someone who can do religious things also while hurting the sentiments of religion or can do religious things without appearing religious is also indicated by mercury and the aptness to acquire new knowledge the hunger for education intelligence and learning is also indicated by mercury any kind of sacrifice specifically if it is done for religion is also indicated by mercury the connection of mercury with uh spirituality i have already explained right any religious rite that is related to sri vishnu is also indicated by mercury skills and knowledge in mechanical arts is indicated by mercury relationships specifically with extended family relatives is indicated by mercury right getting things very easily as if someone is prince and you know like the stage is already set for them is indicated by mercury friends are indicated by mercury the children of sister or female sibling is indicated by mercury and generally daughters are also indicated by mercury so if one is having a very strong mercury it is very probable that one can have daughters only 
or in the case of a positive mercury having daughter is good as compared to having a son because this daughter will do more than what sons can do for you mercury is significator of fourth and tenth house so whenever you are analyzing fourth and tenth house make sure to analyze mercury as well in fourth house if situated in fourth house mercury is quite harmful in which scenario the dashantar dasha of mercury is not good there is problem and obstructions in realizing the significations related to mercury and most importantly as i told you before mercury in the fourth house may give you properties but does not give you happiness of home so this is another reason why mercury should be considered bad in the fourth apart from that mercury is ruled by venus ruled by venus means we said that mercury is rajasic venus is more rajasic right i told you that mercury is skilled venus is more skilled i told you mercury is attractive venus is more attractive so mercury is ruled by venus means whatever result mercury is indicating venus indicates one step ahead of it more of it how to use it if mercury is connected to venus because venus is a bigger mercury or more of mercury the things indicated by mercury will be too much when it is connected by venus for example say mercury is rajasic it gives much lust greed desire if it is connected to mercury it will give huge lust huge greed and huge desire now this lust greed and desire will be of what that should be decided as per the rashi and other connected planets right this one thing is there another uses of ruling is that mercury and venus because venus is more of mercury if mercury and venus both are afflicted you do remedy for venus and because venus rules mercury as venus becomes good in horoscope mercury will automatically be benefited and he will also start giving you good result as well right so this is how it should be understood in the rashi virgo in the rashi gemini on wednesday or if someone is born in wednesday then or any divisional chart if mercury is going into gemini or virgo then mercury should be considered powerful in fact even in sagittarius rashi as well mercury is considered powerful you know that generally mercury will be with sun right so that is the norm but if in your horoscope mercury is not with sun that means he is either ahead or behind of sun then also mercury should be considered powerful because 80% of the cases mercury will be with sun only right specifically if mercury is situated in the ascendant then it will give you fame strength and prosperity now it will give you fame strength and prosperity means he will give you fame strength and prosperity in in his dasha antar dasha strength should also translate as freedom from disease apart from that it indicates that if the significations of the mercury is followed or if mercury is activated more by using colors of mercury green etc then the results of fame strength and prosperity will be given by mercury generally when mercury is situated in fourth house he is barren of results that mean whatever yoga combination and other results whatever good or bad is indicated by mercury may not come to pass if mercury is situated in fourth house right so it should be understood that if mercury is in fourth house then doing remedy related to mercury is must but activating mercury by wearing the colors etc of mercury should be avoided under all conditions right apart from that when mercury is powerful rahu automatically becomes powerful in horoscope why because mercury counteracts the evils of rahu so if rahu and mercury both are afflicted you do remedy for mercury rahu will automatically be good apart from that if mercury is good in horoscope then the bad results of rahu is not produced right so this is to be understood in this particular when mercury is afflicted or when mercury is weak or when mercury is disease producing then what type of disease it produces first of all it produces problems related to wind you will see general generally there are people who gets diseased when there is a seasonal change it is indicated by mercury problems in private parts of sexual organs is indicated by mercury problems in stomach is indicated by mercury leprosy skin diseases are indicated by mercury in digestion related issues colic diarrhea is indicated by mercury getting attacks by ghosts and spirits i told you before that mercury indicates atharva veda is also indicated by mercury your servants cheating you creating you problems are also indicated by mercury as such apart from that places which are frequented by learned men places where learned people gather assemble you said debate halls etc places where vishnu temple is nearby or the complex of vishnu temple at assembly ground recreation ground mathematical halls and at all of these places mercury is powerful so if you spend a time at these places your mercury will be activated if you want to do remedies related to mercury donation fire sacrifice etc then doing at these places will be good 
if mercury is indicating the place where you will meet your life partner or where you where your office will be situated in etc then it will be situated near these places in this way it should be understood cowherds learned men artists chartered accountants vishnu devotees right garud vulture parrot cat these birds and these people are indicated by mercury right so because mercury indicates cowherd gemini have also told budhen gopala right that if mercury is powerful one can be a cowherd also because mercury indicates cowherd if mercury is connected to profession houses it can makes one a cowherd if mercury is powerful it can make one a cowherd if mercury is related to wealth houses then being a cowherd or dealing with products made from milk or found from cow will be useful for the person apart from that if these animals or these humans are helped by you or if you do something by something for them you will be remedying your mercury if you associate more with these people and these birds then you will be activating your mercury more often so based on what you need to do with your mercury you should activate or remedy them remedy the mercury by having the company of these uh, people and animals or by serving them apart from that adopted children are indicated by mercury and in any case if mercury is good in good in horoscope no matter how bad other combinations are it can give adopted son so if you have to see adopted son you have to see it from mercury the sense of smell is indicated by mercury as well so when mercury is afflicted sense of smell can be lost when mercury is afflicted one can be foul smelling also which will compel people to have distance from the native right so this should also be understood green gram is generally indicated by mercury so to strengthen mercury green gram can be donated homa can be done from green gram or green gram can be consumed to strengthen mercury as well if mercury is connected to the ascendant then there will be birth mark in right side of armpit or in right arm right so for rectification i take body marks to be the most authoritative thing right because many a time say if you have to do horoscope of a one year old child the person does not have a fully developed face the person is not having events as such how you will rectify if you see a horoscope without rectification it is a crime so you will have to rectify it and for rectification these bodily marks by birth is generally the best thing to have so if mercury is connected to ascendant there will be some birth mark in right side of arm right arm right and if it is there it does indicate that mercury is connected to ascendant so rectification should be based done on this formula also trees without fruit are also indicated by mercury so planting trees without fruit taking care of trees without fruits is a good remedy for mercury if you want to do homa for mercury then generally using the stem or pulp of trees without fruits will be very beneficial to do homa for mercury etc etc right these things are used in black magic prashna etc also that if badhak is connected by mercury then it does indicate that whatever thing was used to do the black magic after doing it the thing or the object of black magic was kept over a tree without fruits right so in prashna etc it is used in natal chart in horoscopy it should be used as if you want to do remedy for mercury you can take care of trees which are without without fruit or you know you can plant trees which are without fruit without fruit that will be good or if you use stem or pulp of trees which are without fruit in doing fire sacrifice or making furniture of your home then you will be activating your mercury right so this way it have to be understood in incarnations of vishnu mercury generally indicates lord buddh now regarding lord buddh because lord buddh have started buddhism generally hindus don't worship them buddha also means intelligent person i take it as a religious teacher so in the incarnations of vishnu all these religious teachers ramkrishna paramahansa raman maharshi paramahansa yogananda swami nityanand etc these spiritually learned people are indicated by mercury according to my opinion and following these gurus is a good remedy for mercury worshiping these gurus going to their places for example for raman maharshi you can go to raman ashram for ramkrishna paramahansa you can go to belur math is a good remedy for mercury as well following these guru gurus i believe it is quite simple you can have their photo you can keep 
their photos in their puja room and you can read literature about the opinion of these gurus and thoughts of these gurus and you can try to follow them with utmost sincerity and this way you will be following them and you will be activating your mercury and more than activating you will be making your mercury positive right so this you can do for mercury and i believe that this will be a very great thing to do right thank you for watching